The Principal Applicant's Profile page is the page where you will insert basic information for the principal applicant, such as the preferred language of correspondence, being either English or French, as well as their full name and date of birth. Please be sure to read the IMM 6000 guide, which provides detailed instructions, such as making sure that the names and date of birth of the refugee you enter here are typed the exact same as what is shown on their passport or travel document. If they do not have a passport or travel document, then the name and date of birth should match what is shown on other ID or UNHCR documents. Scrolling down, you will see where to insert their current mailing address. As you enter information in the portal, keep in mind that whenever you notice a red asterisk, this means that they are required fields. However, this portal is used by many other immigration streams. So even if you do not see a red asterisk, the information still may be required for PSR applications. This is why you should always read the instruction guide so you know what you need to fill in. It is also important to remember that information entered here in the Principal Applicant's Profile page will be used to auto-populate the online IMM0008 generic application form. So in this case, as a minimum, the street name, city, and country are required. If any fields with a red asterisk are not filled in, the system will prevent the application from being submitted. If the principal applicant's residential address is different than their mailing address, that information will also need to be provided. Scrolling to the bottom of the principal applicant's profile page, you will see where to add each of the principal applicant's dependents to the application. You will click on the Add Dependent button for every family member that needs to be included. Be sure to read the IMM 6000 guide to know who can be included as a family member on this application. And when the input box opens, you will be required to provide basic information, such as the name, date of birth, and you will also indicate if the dependent will accompany the principal applicant to Canada. The IMM 6000 guide provides an explanation for what each of these options mean. However, in most cases, you will select accompanied, even if the dependents are located in a different country than the principal applicant. This is because IRCC will attempt to coordinate concurrent processing as much as possible. If this is not possible, then a one-year window application can be submitted by email to the Resettlement Operations Center Ottawa up to one year after the principal applicant's arrival date in Canada. That way they can bring those dependents to Canada. Remember, you must include all family members in the application. So for parents who have children from a previous marriage, they must still be included in the application as unaccompanied even if they do not intend to ever bring them to Canada. You would also include any dependents who are missing or presumed to be dead. As private sponsors, you must commit to be responsible for the principal applicant and all of their dependents when they arrive in Canada, whether or not it will be at the same time as the principal applicant or at a later date through the one-year window opportunity. Be sure to click on the Save and Continue button once you have entered in all of the information for this dependent before moving on to add another dependent. Once saved, you will see the details for each of the added dependents here. And you can go back to edit this information at a later date if necessary. But this can only be done as long as the application has not yet been submitted. Now let's see what information the group members page contains. 